During the ONS Europe event, we sat down with Ala Goldner, Director of Technology, Strategy and Standardization at Amdocs, to discuss the progress of the collaboration between Etsy and the Linux Foundation's ONAP project. The collaboration started a while ago, uh, both some formal discussions on how those organizations should uh, uh, you know, work jointly, but mostly because service providers uh, requested to include Etsy compliant interfaces, uh, whether I'm talking about Etsy Mac or Etsy NFE, or even now Etsy is at the same, which is an ongoing effort into an ongoing open source. And this is how you know, we were kind of forced to actually start collaborating even before any formal collaboration came into picture. And now then you look actually into ONAP implementation, into a crying implementation, you can easily see that some of those interfaces already include Etsy compliant, you know, interfaces, so compliant interfaces, Etsy Mac compliant interfaces. So this is already in place. And when you have to do that, that require, you know, that people from both organizations work jointly, or even you send same people to open source and to standard organizations, so they really know what is going on there and can easily inject to introduce, you know, those functionalities into open source and make it work. It is no longer the question if. It is a question how, when, what is more important, what is less urgent, so what should be included in the next release and what can be postponed a little bit, but not a question, you know, if we need to include, it is really come to the real, you know, uh, implementation phase, not to the generic discussions of whether we need standard compliance, we are not there any longer. MDOX is participating both in Etsy, in Etsy NFV, we lead uh, uh, packaging work and we are quite active there and as you know MDOX is very active in ONAP as well and we do participate in work on free GBP related to network management and I believe that the key is that basically the same people include, uh, you know, introduce those functionality and participate and work and lead work in, in, on those fronts. So basically we have several people, you know, working on Etsy and then, you know, participating in architecture, modeling, use case, discussions in ONAP and actually including that functionality there. As an example, I can give you that, you know, we are participating closely in FreeGPP SA5 work on network slicing and we, we were, and we are leading network slicing work in ONAP and actually MDOX contributed modeling part for network slicing in the previous release and plan to include network slicing support for inventory in the next release. So we are definitely there and we strongly believe in collaboration and push forward for that. The fact that we already have quite a several implementation of Etsy, so Etsy and NFE sole interfaces into ONAP is because service providers came and clearly said we need those implementations for our real deployments in the future with ONAP. So I am actually not uh, one of those who say service providers should put their development into open source. I don't strongly believe this is going to happen because, you know, they have limited resources and this is not what they traditionally do and even in standards bodies they typically have significantly less people than vendors but what they can do they can come and put their requirements and that in a way forces their vendor to implement those requirements so this is how we can actually achieve all their requests from if you talk about network management there is no currently standard which supports it end-to-end -end, you know if you look into free gpp there are pieces related to mobile you look into etsy and if there are pieces related to virtualization but there is no single view etsy is at the same now attempts to provide a single view and they did a pretty impressive work but there is still a road to go on so they're not there yet and so you know looking practically and we really need already to support those requirements so it is a mix of proprietary and standardized and even for standardized as i said some you know less important uh, uh, interfaces are on the road and some are implemented already so you know we are moving forward and the key here is service providers whatever they request and you know if they find for instance that some interface is important to come as a standardized they would push it in standards as well and you know we finally will implement it. ONAP I believe would be a de facto network management implementation end to end 
for 5G mobile networks, specifically for end-to-end -end network slicing, which is probably the most important key uh, functionality of 5G. Now, even speaking of, you know, 5G core, for instance, there will be a temp and ONF, and there is already a reference implementation of 4G core, there will be also 5G core. Now, the important effort is on the side of Oran, which is dedicated for 5G, where actually the attempt is to put as much as possible into the open source, and this is probably the first time when really there are so many services provided behind this effort and commitment to actually put as much as possible and provide. And you know, then Oran would also be connected to ONAP because network management of Oran would be implemented by ONAP and actually non-real-time rig would become a part of ONAP. So all those pieces are connected. The key really is collaboration here and a strong push by service provider and uh, they their clear say of what their needs are and the attention are not just in the closed room with some of the vendors but really coming to the community and explaining those if that happens that already happens we need more if that happens more that would be the key for success also for 5g